Hey everyone, Karani Sounds just released Lo-Fi Lite, a light version of their Lo-Fi Key plugin. I saw this plugin pop up for free on a website, and it was a link to Gumroad where you could add a coupon to your cart to get this plugin for free. I'll put it up on the screen now where I saw this plugin. I'm not sure if it's still going to be free for a while. It might be a limited time offer. I'll also leave that on the screen. Initially, I thought this was Karani giving away another effect plugin, but then I realized it was an instrument, and I had heard that they released a sort of Lo-Fi Key Suite recently, as they call it, Essential Bedroom Keys. I figured I'd give this a shot and try it out and see if it's anything that I would consider useful. Let's start off with playing the default sound here, Lo-Fi Dream and Piano. I'm not much of a keyboard player, so just excuse me if my playing's not that great. Here's what the original initialized preset sounds like, Lo-Fi Dream and Piano. Let's move on to the second preset here, which is Keys Wireless Piano. This one sounds quite a bit different, so I'm going to have to mess with the octave ranges. It's already a lot brighter, as you can hear. You'll also notice there's a ton of noise. Hear how much noise you're getting built up there? I'm just going to turn, turn off this cassette module for now. You can hear how much better that sounds. Now that we've heard the presets, let's go into some of the options you have for tweaking this Lo-Fi Lite plugin. First, you have your sound source here, so we're currently on Lo-Fi Piano. I'm actually going to go back to the first preset, because I like the sound of that better. I'd rather tweak that. First sound source we have here is Lo-Fi Planet. Let's try out some of the other ones. First sound source here is Bitmap Luigi, which is a very bit-crushed sound. And I haven't messed with this low and high control. I assume it's a low cut and a high cut. Maybe not, maybe it's a kind of two-band EQ or some sort of tilt EQ. You also have a fine control here, so you can detune one layer compared to the other. And you can change the octave range here. It sounds a little bit better up there. And even better up there, in my opinion. Not bad. Let's try out another sound source. How about lo-fi piano? Let's bump the lo-fi piano down an octave again. So now we have two lo-fi piano sources, so I was kind of stacking two of the same layer, one an octave above the other. Let's try messing with the sound source here and change it to poly city light. And keep in mind with the full version, I assume you would have a lot more sound sources to choose from, and you're going to have a lot more settings in these other modules here. They only give you three or four per on each module. That's a really nice sound. Let's try messing with some of the modulations here. I believe the chain for this plugin goes sound source, sound source, into your noise source, into your modulations, and then next out to shape, and then it goes through your effects plugins. I believe that's the chain. I added a bit of wow. Style that back. Let's add some tremolo. Unfortunately, you can't seem to change the rate of these modulations, which is a bit limiting in my opinion. I think that's pretty cool. I really hope that on the full version, they have 
rate controls for these modulations because I think those could be very useful. I'm going to dial back these modulations, just use a little bit of them so that we can then mess with the modules after the fact. I'm also going to turn off the noise module. I'm okay with the sound source. Just to show you that you can mess with the envelope, I'll show you that right now. You can hear that there's a slow release. That would make sense with the release set here. I'm going to create a short release. Yep. Shortens that up. How about lower sustain? You can definitely create some nice short plucky sounds by using a lower decay value. Let's move on to the modules here. With this first module, you have Dimension Light, which is a kind of multi-effect. You can see we have a chorus, honky, which I'm not really sure what that is, and slap, which I think is a slap back. And you're pretty limited in the controls you get. You have one knob here, which I believe is like low, medium, and high in terms of speed. I think that's what it is. And then modulation, I guess modulation amount. Maybe it's different for each different source you have here. I'm not sure about that. But one thing you do need to know about these three modules is you have an FX dry wet setting here. So these in and outs don't actually apply to a dry wet mix of each plugin. They just relate to how much signal is coming in and out of each plugin. So if you turn this out all the way down, you're going to hear I'm going to get basically no signal going through. So the way that you're going to introduce or remove some of these effects is by using this dry wet mix here. So let's try bumping this dimension light pretty much all the way up to hear what it's doing. That's a slap back. That sounds to me like a Haas effect, which is kind of interesting. It could just be the slap mode that sounds like that. Let's try chorus. I'm getting a lot of break up there. It's not bad. Slow chorus, medium speed chorus, high speed chorus. So definitely a speed or rate for this chorus option here. How about honky? Sounds fast. Sounds kind of regular speed. And sounds slower, so it does seem like a speed control. Weirdly, the modulation option to me does sound like the stereo imaging, which is kind of odd. The labeling isn't horrible for these options, but it doesn't give you much information at all about what you're actually changing, which requires you to mess around with it. And I think in some ways that's cool because it can help you be a bit more creative, but in some ways I kind of just want to know what I'm changing in the plugin to make my life easier and move things along quicker. The next module we have here is the T color. It says T color exciter. I believe it is saturation and maybe some other effects from these different modules here. Let's try bumping up this T color by Dry Mix. So this is also a bit of a multi-effect plugin. I'm getting some low cut that I would get from playing things through an, a radio kind of telephone style effect where it's rolling off the lows, rolling off the highs. And then control one, of course, you know what control one means, right? I don't, but uh, maybe you do. This to me sounds like a, a high cut. Let's try out saturate. That sounds like saturation. It's pretty good. And there you can definitely hear it sounds like it's just a high cut when it's turned all the way down. Not much to this module. There's a grittier tape option there. Can definitely help you dial in a uh, bit crushed, nice saturated sound. Let's try changing a couple sound sources again, just to keep it interesting. Let's go to Lo-Fi Planet. Change this to Bitmap Luigi. And 
for the slash module here, we have a light version of space, which is also a full version plugin that you can get from Karani, which is pretty cool. I think I got it for free with the purchase from Plugin Boutique. I wasn't blown away by it, but it's a nice thing to have in a plugin like this as a module, definitely. You have three modes, medium sky, short reverse, I think, and short warm. Let's try bumping up this space module so we can really hear what these different modes do. It's a pretty cool sound. Let's try this medium sky. Magnitude sounds like size, which would make sense, and longitude. It's kind of hard to hear what longitude does, to be honest. Let's go to short reverse. Pretty aggressive sound. When mixed in at a small percentage, like a reverb usually should be, this sounds very good. Uh, I don't have any issues with this. You're kind of just limited in terms of the modes you get. One thing I would like to see, and I'm not sure if you get this with the full version, is the ability to rearrange these modules. I would really like that, because from what I can see, you cannot order them. Okay, the last thing on this plugin that we're going to look at is the random control section. The keyboard section is really nothing to talk about. It's just click a key. Plays a virtual keyboard. I have a keyboard hooked up. Your keyboard does not show up on the keyboard display here on the plugin. But I do really like this random controls section we have here where it just randomizes all of your sound sources for sound, randomizes the dimension module for dimension, technicolor for the technicolor, and space for the reverb. And then surprise will randomize them all at once. So let's just mess around and create a couple random presets here. Interesting. Once again, that noise module here hurts a lot of the sounds, in my opinion. I think that sounds a lot better without it. Let's add a little bit of vinyl back in. So I'm going to show you really quickly one of my complaints about this noise module here and its lack of controls. I'm going to play a note and you're going to hear a little bit of noise. And then when I hold down a sustain pedal and sustain the note for a long time, you're going to hear the noise get a lot louder, which is kind of a weird envelope choice. The cassette B was particularly bad, in my opinion. That's at a very low setting, so it sounds decent. Let's turn it up a little bit. Listen how much noise you're getting there with the sustain. In my opinion, there should be a separate ADSR envelope for the noise module here. Let's use surprise and create a completely random preset.
can definitely get some very unique, cool sounds by using these randomized controls here, and I really like that. I think almost every plugin should have a random option to randomize things, because it creates just very unique things you might not create on your own. That's pretty much it in terms of what you get with this lo-fi light plugin from Karani Sounds. Overall, I think it's pretty impressive. It's very nice that it's free. I'm not sure if I personally would buy the full version, but if you're looking for a very unique lo-fi sound right off the bat without having to do too much tweaking or sound design on your own, this could be a very useful plugin. I think it's worth trying out the light version. If you make lo-fi hip-hop, it could be a cool thing to create some unique key sounds for, and obviously that's what it specializes in. You could probably also make some bass style patches as well as some pads if you tweaked it enough, but I think you're pretty limited to what the sound sources can do and the shape of the original sound sources. I definitely have a few issues with this plugin. I think there should be more control over this noise source here as well as the modulations. I want to have some rate options. Maybe add a second envelope here that you can assign one of these individual sources to. That'd be very nice. The modules over here are very limited. I think you're going to get more sources with these modules on the full version. I'm pretty sure of that, but you're not going to get more controls, and that's something that I'm not a big fan of. I really wish they gave you a bit more tweakability. Something like the Excite Audio plugins, like uh, Expanse and Console, give you kind of a standard option like this and then a much more tweakable advanced menu to mess with it, and I think a plugin like this needs that to allow the user to create things a lot more versatile or a lot more fine-tuned than what you can create with these broad macro controls. I also wish these were labeled differently. I just want them to be what they are, not, you know, magnitude, longitude, control one, whatever that means, and blank options here. The random controls are awesome. I really like that. I think that's a great thing. And FX dry wet is also great to be able to control the dry wet mix of all of these modules. Overall, I think it's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this plugin. If you like this video, drop a like on it. Consider leaving me a sub or requesting what else you'd like to see, and I'll consider making a review of it. Thanks a lot for watching, and have a good day.